Hello and welcome to my channel. A couple of weeks ago, Kay Weets reached out to me and said they were going to send me this smart clamp meter, this KC602 auto ranging meter for me to do a review on. I graciously agreed and I've been paid no money to do this review but they have sent me a free meter. So I'm going to go through all the features of this and tell you what I got for free and what you can get for a very low price. So opening the box, we can see there's a nice case. The meter's obviously in. A nice user instruction manual. I have a bad history of ignoring these. Um, I never really read these. Hopefully you'll take the time because knowledge is in fact power, but um, not for me. So it's got a nice, nice little zip lock case. I'll open that up to see. The elasticated side to hold probably the probes and whatnot. Nice. Elastic to hold the actual multimeter. Triple A batteries. Right, the probes. Same decent, you know. This is in fact the budget plot meter, you know, to be honest. Um the heat probes, the meter itself. So that's what we've got. Definitely a fan of this little case. Put the probes in there. The probes can all sit on there, and the meter can sit on there. That's that's excellent. So we'll leave the case to the side for now, and just get this unwrapped. I'm a bit excited about this because this is my first clamp meter. I have quite a few meters. Some I bought. Some I got sent to me in the same way as this sent to me but this is my very first clamp meter i'm very excited it's a good strong clamp for a budget meter you know it's got yeah nice the batteries like i said and the probes let's take a look, good old look at the probes now they're decent um they're not they're not they're definitely not bad the cable on them seems quite strong, seems quite um, thick, you know, it's good. They've got these um, the lens on them to, that are removable. Quite fine probes, quite long probes, which I like. But these ends are for testing like fine things like PCB boards and whatnot. I don't do a lot of that, but you never know. Skills sets improving all the time, so... It's nice to have it in my locker, but I do like the probes, they're good. So here's the temperature probes. I'll be honest, I don't use these much, but it's nice to have them, they'll always, they'll always be there. Next steps, installing the batteries. See, just a single screw. Um, see, little batteries wrapped up. And they are supplied, which... When you do buy something, maybe you don't have some batteries lying around, it's it's always nice to have that. They're starting up already. See calibration, it's went to calibration mode. It takes a few seconds for that to calibrate itself and it goes right away to temperature because it's an auto ranging meter. And what that means is it selects what it thinks you need. See if we get it into shot. It's set at 54.5 Fahrenheit, that's what we have on here at the moment. So if you're in this side of the pond, you maybe prefer centigrade or Celsius, whatever way you say it. There is quite a, an unusual method of changing that to the other unit of measurement, which is centigrade or Celsius. But it's like um, it's like an old video game cheat code. There is a video on the Kiwi's website how to do that. Um, I might do a video on it later on, but it's too much for this particular one. So I'll run through quickly some of the functions here uh there's a little button on the side that's hold or light so if you press it once 
you could hold that's that little hitch come up there if you can see that you get it right up there or if you press it again i think you get the light they they hold it i have to hold it on to get the light so you can put that off that's the hold off and then you hold it on to get the light off so that's one function and i think we'll connect the leads before we do anything else next step is to connect the leads so you pull these little whatever you would call them out and unlike other multimeters the e slots aren't color coded they're usually of a red and black to tell you which goes where but they make it simple for you the coms are common that's always the black and the other ones are red Remember? the only thing simple about this because it's a smart meter it's got it's only got two slots it hasn't got the three slots of a more basic sort of selectable meter although this one is also selectable this is an auto ranging meter as well as a selectable meter it's a smart clamp meter so therefore it's got the auto function which is the smart feature which is going from one thing to the other as you see and that means once you put the probes onto something in this mode it will select what you require from the meter whether it's to take amps or volts or ohms or continuity whatever you need it'll select it but if you want to select what you require you press the function button here that's amps that's volts ohms continuity and the rest this meter has a hell of a lot of functions and there's a great price so the appeal to maybe a serious diy man weekend wire like me i'll not use all the functions i'll not be using things like there's something called unrush there ac and dc unrush unrush is something to do with testing motors but i wouldn't be using that and there's ac and dc for the amps so there's mon and max there's all sorts of things you can do with this If you watch my youtube channel you'll realize that i repair a lot of power tools and batteries and it involves a lot of testing continuity testing voltage testing of batteries and their cells and that would be the main main use for that the other use that i might have for it is i've been doing a wee bit of household light electrician work i'm not an electrician but i'm doing a light, bit of light electrician work I've got the non-contact voltage, which is very useful. So I'll maybe try and demonstrate the three things that I would use this for. I've never had a clamp meter before in my life, like I said, and I'm delighted that Kiwoots have sent me this. To use this meter for the functions that I required for, I'm going to run through them one by one. Uh, go for the least common to start with for me. I'm going to put it to non-contact voltage. I'm going to test this live wire with it. So here's the probe here. And you can see that's a live wire. And if I unplug that wire and test it again, you see there's no power at all. So that's a non-contact voltage. That's a very useful thing if you're doing household electrical work. That's very useful. One of the more common uses that I would have for a multimeter is to test a battery. That's got two bars showing. This is a DeWalt 5 amp hour battery. Um, so you should be testing between 17 and 20 volts there. So I'm still in auto mode. I'm going to test the overall voltage of this battery. And now it's in auto mode. So remember it's a smart meter. So it'll decide what I need from it. So it's automatically selected DC. And it showed me it's 18.91 volts in that battery. And... If you know about batteries, you will know that this is one of the cells from inside the battery. There's an 18650 cell, and I'll be testing these all the time. And if I test the voltage of that individual cell, it's coming up to 4.15, which is a good voltage for a fully charged 18650 cell. Not that it makes much difference, but you can auto select voltage and set to DC. Though you could change that to AC if you're testing power out of the mains but you know to select 
That didn't make any difference. You're still going to get the same result. Another thing, last but not least, I would say, would be when I get a plug-in tool that's not working on, the first thing I do is test if the, is the fuse intact. Because the worst thing you want to do is start stripping the machine and realise it's only a blown fuse. So with the auto range again and the multimeter, it should select what I need. Yeah, that's telling me that fuse is good. That's continuity. Also, you would use continuity to test if the power is coming from the plug all the way up to the tool itself. And again, this function is selectable. Not that it matters, it'll auto range it. It's selectable as that only. The last feature I want to talk about is the fact that you can put one of the probes on there. And that'll hold one of the probes in place. If you have nowhere to leave the meter down and you're testing something in a power box or something like that, it's very, very useful. It's more of an electrician's feature, but it's nice to have nonetheless. In conclusion, this meter is packed with features and very affordable for the weekend warrior or the DIY enthusiast. It's the KC602 smart meter and if you want to buy it yourself, there's a link in the description and pinned in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos.